Today we have a strange one, a quirky watch with a ton of personality. The 1973 50 year anniversary re-edition Bulova parking meter. It's a special one, so it's limited to 5,000 units. And man, is this thing interesting. I had to have it on the channel, it's just so cool. The watches designed in the 70s were spectacular. They had a vibe about them, unique and fresh, and they were definitely cool. This one brings back that vibe with a completely brushed C-shaped bullhead case design with a ion plated stainless steel blue bezel that gives this watch that two-toned look. So Bulova is bringing back an icon, but have they done enough? Coming in at a price of 595 USD. Well, we're gonna find out in this video. Straight away, you're getting a watch like none other. It looks unique and it's going to be a conversation starter. The bullhead design is not very common. I find it a little bit finicky and hard to use on the wrist and even off the wrist. The crown's a little bit too small. The pushers, while you do get a decent click when you start the chronograph, it's mushy when you stop the chronograph. But even with two crowns and two pushers, the watch still has 100 meters of water resistance. That's excellent. Now let's do those measurements. I got 43 millimeters in diameter, a thickness of 11.8, now there aren't any actual lugs. The part of the case where the strap attaches to is recessed, coming in at 43 millimeters. So even though it does look like an elongated case, it's actually more of a square. If you count the recessed lug area, they are drilled for easy strap changes. The strap is a padded leather, very comfortable 22 millimeters with no taper. And we do have a signed Bulova high polished buckle. The case back is plain Jane. It does have some specs and the limited edition number. Would have been nice to see maybe an engraved parking meter, a real one. That would have been fun. The dial has a stadium-like layered look. The tachometer scale right at the top, hugging that sapphire. And then we step down to the 12 hour dual time that the six o'clock crown controls. Then we step down to the detailed chaptering with orange pips at the hour markers. Then we make it to the parking meter, the shape of that raised parking meter in the center of the watch that encompasses two subdials. You have an extremely useless AM PM 24 hour indicator slave to the main hands. What a disappointment this is. I hate when companies do this, especially Bulova. Come on. They have one of the greatest hack movements in the world priced very similarly. For example, there's an NN 50 movement right now on sale. That's way cheaper than this watch. And it has that 262 kilohertz movement with a smooth sweep. And if we put it on its side, like how the bullhead is, we would have had the 12 hour timer and 60 minute. That's much more useful, plus the smooth sweep. So I have no idea why they never went all out on an icon like the parking meter. This movement is the Miyota Zero S21, zero jewels and zero excitement. It does take away, but it's a disappointment. Five year battery. So that's the one good thing. If they put the if they put the good movement in, it would have been a two year battery, but that's worth it in my opinion. And you do only have 20 seconds a month accuracy. So not the greatest, your run of the mill quartz, you're gonna get 15 seconds a month. This one 20, so a little bit lower tier, not a fan of that. This movement also does not have a running seconds. So the watch will look dead if the chronograph is off, but just keep it running and use that as your running seconds hand. The battery is the SR927W. If you need a reference, if you need to change it out and you're watching this video in five years, the hands are very cool. It looks like orange loom, but it's not. It's just orange fill. They're black hands with high polish on the pinion. Unique, cool look. And I love the orange sweeping seconds hand of the chronograph. We do have a date at three o'clock, Bulova at nine o'clock. The design is fantastic. There's so much potential, but I feel they let us down. They let the bullhead fans down. They didn't go all out and I don't understand why. And I'm not a fan of that when they could have made this great. It's good, but it's not great. They could have made it great. I think they would have sold out quickly. Maybe they still will. You can buy this at Kavar Jewelers. They told me it is selling well. Email me down below to discuss it. So we got no loom today and no time grapher because it's quartz. But if you love chronographs and you're in the market, make sure you check out the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.